Hey guys, welcome back to 3DX Tech's product spotlight series. My name is Brandon and I'm the product manager here at 3DX Tech and today we're talking about PEC. PEC stands for polyether ketone ketone. It's in the polyaryl ether ketone family, which is the same family as PEAK, but it's far easier to print than PEAK. While they are in the same family, there are several differences between PEC and its sibling PEAK, just to name a few of them. PEC has a slower rate of crystallization, which is why it works so much better in additive manufacturing than PEAK. If the top layer crystallizes too fast, when you go to lay the next layer on top of it, it won't properly bond, which causes really weak Z-strength. The lower crystallinity also gives PEC better dimensional stability. The act of crystallization is what causes all this warping and shrinking in PEAK parts. PEC needs less heat to print compared to PEAK, which opens this material up for a larger base of users since more machines can print PEC than those machines that can print PEAK. Depending on the rate of crystallinity that you're looking for in your part, PEAK wants a temperature in the chamber ranging from 90 to 200 degrees C, a nozzle temperature of 375 to 450, while PEC can be processed with a chamber temperature ranging from just 25 degrees Celsius up to 150, and a nozzle temperature between 350 and 380 degrees Celsius. The PEC we use in our formulation is originally from Arkema. They're one of the world's largest suppliers of PEC resins. PEC comes in both semi-crystalline and amorphous variations. When you see PEC A and PEC C, this is what that's referring to. PEC A is amorphous and PEC C is semi-crystalline. Here at 3DX Tech, we tend to focus on PEC A versions since they're much easier to print and more importantly, easier to control in regards to warp and shrink. Moving on to typical properties of PEC filaments, PEC has a tensile strength of 105 megapascals, a tensile modulus of 2,750 megapascals, a tensile elongation of 5%, a tensile strength of 95 megapascals, a flexural modulus of 2,680 megapascals, for thermal properties, PEC has a heat deflection temperature of 150 C with an overall melt temperature of 305 C. And the resin we use to make this does have a UL94 V0 rating down to 0.8 millimeters. Like most of the other ultra polymers we make here at 3DX Tech, PEC filaments find their home in the typical markets that you would expect that need high performance materials, those being aerospace and oil and gas. For aerospace, PEC's mixture of great off-gassing properties along with its high strength to weight ratio and heat performance make it excel in vacuum applications. Essentially, if your part's going into outer space, PEC might be the right material. 3D printed PEC parts have been approved in space-ready applications by Lockheed Martin, and Boeing has approved PEC for in-flight parts as well. The oil and gas industry likes PEC's temperature resistance, but its chemical resistance is where this material really starts to turn heads in this market. To test this, Arkema placed PEC in MEK, which eats almost anything, and it outperformed higher performance materials such as PEI. PEC is used in oil and gas for seal rings, flow lines, and choke lines. Overall, PEC is an ultra polymer filament that really challenges the paradigm between material properties and being hard to print. If you're looking for a high temperature, high chemical resistant material without having to worry about all of the headache of peak, PEC might be the product for your next project. Thanks for checking out another product spotlight. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at www.3dxtech.com. Until next time, happy printing.